Shaving on YouTube is a funny, funny, weird thing. And uh, there, there's several of us. There's a lot of YouTube wet shavers. And oftentimes we get sent the same products to try out. So we don't like to piggyback on top of one another and just put out the same ones. I know you don't watch everybody, but I like to do that. And so before I uh, use this soap that I received from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, thank you to the nice folks there. Thank you to Douglas Smith. It is Smith, right? Not Smythe. It's spelled S-M-Y-T-H-E. I'm going to say Smith. I may be wrong. Anyway, so before I use this stuff today, I, I'm, I wanted to make sure that uh, uh, that somebody had already done uh, a, a video on it. And a lot of people have done videos on it. So I'm going to do a video on it right now because I just got this this past week. This is Fresco from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now, you know them. You love them. People... Uh, uh, call them PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And Douglas is the guy over there. He also does all the graphic design. And he's a writer. Look, he's got a first edition book out about this fragrance. Or at least I haven't read it yet. <laughs> but it's still called Fresco. And there's also an aftershave. He sent me an aftershave, an autographed book. Check this out. Autographed. Buy yours today <laughs> on his website. $6.95. And I think I'll do a little reading at the end of this video. We'll read a little bit of the first chapter here together. We'll do an audio book. But for now, let's shave. I'm going to grab my Rockwell just because it's, you know, it's the Rockwell 6S, the stainless. I got a fairly brand new feather blade in there. And I've been using this a lot lately, as you can tell. It's covered in soap scum just the way I like it. All right. I took a shower. I did my hair. I'm going to put some hot water up. And then I'm going to shave with the Fresco from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I did shave with it the other day, and I have been uh, sniffing it. <laughs> I've just been sitting around sniffing it, you know, on the couch like this. No, I'm not huffing. Come on, guys, I'm 51 years old. I can't do that kind of stuff. Not that I ever did. I'm not sure, that wasn't my thing. Anyway, so I'm gonna lather up. I, as you can tell, I've already used it once. This is a, a fairly firm cream. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shoot the middle finger at you. And I'm using the Captain's Choice Synthetic Brush, the ocean brush, see, it looks like the earth. Look at that, beautiful. I did use this the other day and I can't remember uh, what it smelled like exactly, but I will talk about uh, what I think about the smell of this and the aftershave in just a minute and why I'm not gonna use the aftershave. I'm not gonna use it. I did use it and I'm gonna give you the same advice that I always give uh, when it comes to aftershaves or clones or things like that a little bit later. All right. Yes, I do remember that this stuff lathers up beautifully. You can get a great, rich, thick lather that doesn't get too thick. And the scent of the shaving soap. Now, I never knew anything about this. But this is supposed to smell like an old version of Old Spice. You know, you had like Brute and... Uh, Old Spice and things like that. Well, this is supposed to smell like something called Old Spice Fresh, which is why it's called Fresco. And uh, I've never smelled it, so I have no idea what that stuff smells like, but I'll, I'll let you know what it smells like, what Fresco smells like as I'm lathering up and as I'm reminded once again of the scent. Now it is, I just read a little bit on his website, on Douglas's, on the PAA's website, that it is a fougere, so if you know what that means, and I just learned like in the last year what the heck that means, it's like an earthy, vegetable, ferny, green, kind of those kind of things. And you know, I gotta admit, I'm not a big fan of fougere. I'm really not, I'm, I've decided. I've decided, putting my foot down. I put my fist down, but all right, there's a good, man, beautiful, beautiful lather. Now, this is the thing, even if you don't like the scent, if it's a great, you know, it, then it's not for me, but it, it it's a great lathering soap. And I think that, here we go, let's shave. And I think that all, everything I've encountered with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements has been good quality. And he's got that very cool B-movie noir uh, graphic design sense, you know? I bet Quirin, Quirin, Quentin Tarantino would probably shave with this if he knew about it. So Quentin, if you're out there, Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. I think they, you might share some of the similar uh, aesthetics with Douglas. Now, like I said, the scent on this is, is not my favorite, but I do like the fact that the shaving soap is a milder scent, a milder Old Spice fresh scent than the aftershave. 
And I'm not going to use the aftershave because I really don't like the smell of it on my skin. And I'll tell you how I know that. And I've said this many times before. If you get a new scent, whether it's an aftershave or a cologne or whatever, and you're trying it out, maybe you got a sampler. Before you take a shower that day, put it on. Put it on your neck, put it on your face, however you're going to use it. And walk around for, you know, an hour or so and see if you like the way it smells. Because you're going to really be able to smell it because your nose is not going to be used to that scent. You know, it's like one of those things, like if I put on Dracar Noir, as soon as I squirt it, I don't smell it anymore. Everybody else smells it, but because I've been using it since 19, 1986, then I don't smell it. But you will definitely smell a brand new fragrance on you. I mean, this is not rocket science, obviously. I'm telling you obvious things. But it's just my little tip, and it works for me. And I did that with this aftershave. Now, I did open it up and smell it when it came in the mail. I believe it was last week. And I was like, hmm, that's not my thing. And I didn't put it on. And then right before I, I took a shower today, I put it on and walked around with it, did laundry, did all that stuff. And I just decided I just don't like the, the smell of it for me. It's not for me, the scent. And uh, so I'm going to use a different uh, Phoenix Artisan accoutrements that you guys love to see me use. The Cella Cool. This stuff burns me it i love that's the thing it's like a bad relationship i love it but it hurts me so bad <laughs> you know what i'm talking about you've been there before all right let me there's the first pass pretty good about average for this kind of a shave now it does leave some good slickness on your skin so when you wash it off when you uh you know after that first pass if you're going to do multiple passes it does leave residual slickness and softness and as I've said, and maybe I'll say it three or four more times, even though I'm not a huge fan of the scent, I'm not a fan of fougere scents in general, unless they've got like a real strong, you know, lime or cherry in there that kind of overwhelms the green fern kind of scent, then I'm just, it's not my, not for me. It's not for me. But that's okay. And even though it's not for me, I still appreciate the fact that you sent it, Doug. Thank you. And I've got another one coming up later that people have already done also, Droid. Black, which is a, uh, it's, it's a tribute to some other scent. I don't know. I don't know these things, folks. I put out these shaving videos, <laughs> but I don't do a lot of research because I kind of, I don't know. It's just one of those things. I just, that's not the way I do it. You know, I'm not out there seeking out all the new products. And I think I discussed this fairly recently. Like if it was a guitar, if it was a Rickenbacker guitar or a Hoffner or something, you know, some new thing, that kind of stuff is what I get into and we'll do research on and totally nerd out. But it's funny that even though I, sh you know, have this shaving channel, I'm not out there, you know, pounding the pavement trying to find all the new stuff. But somehow, and I feel very fortunate, it does find its way to me. So thanks again to anybody and everybody that has shared your generosity with me. Certainly even, even non uh, manufacturing, you can just private citizens, fans, friends, friends, send me stuff. I've got uh, three huge bars of soap, Duke Cannon soap, that uh, is going to take me take me at least three years to go through. These, these are those giant bars of soap that uh, girl Alex sent me for my birthday, so thank you. Send all my love to everybody there in the Chicagoland area, if you're listening. Now I'm going, of course, for, ha for a split second there, I thought I was still on the first pass. <laughs> That's how quick this is going. I was like, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to go against the grain on the first pass. And I was like, wait a minute, is this the first pass? It's not. It's not. It's terrible. Yeah, you can even hear that. All right. Hmm. I tell you, if you've never used like a good quality shaving soap, like the stuff that this company makes and so many other good companies, you ain't been living yet. Try it. Try it. I know it's weird, kind of, in this day and age. I think maybe more people are kind of warming up to it. And the younger folks are starting to appreciate, you know, this sort of thing and history and, you know, the way things were built and, uh, you know, and artisanal stuff. That's huge, right? All this artisanal stuff and farm to table and all that jazz. Now, as a child of the 70s, that stuff is still slightly foreign to me, you know? But if you've never tried it, give it a try. 
Try a brush. You know, don't don't break the bank. Third pass. This is why I gotta go real careful down here on the neck. But uh, yeah, invest in some really nice quality shaving soap. And so many of these companies will send you a sample pack. I mean, you pay, you know, what, I don't know how much, 14, 15, 20 bucks or whatever. And they'll send you several of their shaving soaps so you can kind of zero in on which one you like. Because if, if they've all got a really good, you know, base soap, then you build on top of that with a scent that you really like, there's nothing better. Can't beat it. And Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements does not make a bad shaving product. Now, various selections of scent, as I've been talking about, may not be your thing. You may, you may vibrate on a different level, man. <laughs> I don't know. I've been to California once and all of a sudden I'm a hippie. I'm new age, right? I'm going to start the new age shaving ASMR channel coming up. Can you hear the jazz in the background? Back in my early videos, I used to always have jazz on. Now I have to play old jazz that doesn't have the copyright anymore. So I don't get copyright struck. I'm getting in trouble with the, with the law. Beats all you never saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they were born. You know, straightening the curves and flattening the hills. And, uh, you know, someday the law might get them, but, or someday the, Mountain might get him, but the law never will. It's been a while. I need to watch that show again. I used to love Dukes of Hazzard when I was a kid. I know I've talked about that before. And if my childhood friend from San Antonio who lived on the street from, a, uh, from my grandfather, Rocky was her name, a little tomboy back in the late 70s. If you're out there watching, here's, here's to you, Rocky. You were the first girl I ever uh, saw... Uh, in a different light, rather than just, it was, <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're that age, when you're like 11 or 12 or however old you are, and you actually notice a girl or your boy or whatever your situation is, and you remember that person, because it was the first time they weren't just, ew, a girl. It was like, why do I feel different about this girl? She was a cutie. She was a little tomboy. And we used to like to play Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I always insisted on being Daisy Duke, but that's just me, you know. All right, let me, uh, no, I always wanted to be Bo Duke because my hair was kind of blonde like his color. Always wanted to be Bo Duke. Still kind of do. I was watching some John Schneider, uh, you, he's got a YouTube channel, and he was talking about all kinds of stuff. It's been a while, though, but, uh, yeah. Bo Duke. I always secretly wanted to be him. I secretly wanted to be Robert Palmer later on in life. I also secretly wanted to be Simon Le Bon. I don't know, is there a pattern in these, these people that I secretly want to look like or be like? They're all kind of blonde, aren't they? And I was kind of blonde, and then my hair's a little, it's still kind of blondish, right? All right, let me dry off here. Now, as I said, mm, well, let me just say that was a fine shave. And that's a really good soap. And I'm gonna have to pay it forward because I probably won't use it again. I got so much stuff I have to pay forward. And I was trying to think of how to do it because years ago I was, you know, mailing stuff off and that's just too much. I can't get into that. But maybe if I leave stuff around town like a geocache, like I'll put together a little geocache and I'll give you clues as to where it is. If you're in the area, you can go find my hidden, hidden stuff. Maybe. That could be kind of fun. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to use the Fresco aftershave because I'm just not a fan of the scent. It's a much, much stronger scent than that. It is a very classic cologne scent. Classic barbershop, cologne, old school, old spice. So if you're, uh, if you're at all aware, like I'm not, uh, of the scent Old Spice Fresh, this is supposedly what it smells like. Now, I tried it on and I don't like the way it smells on me, so I'm gonna put that aside. <sighs> Steal myself for the Cella Cool, which I love. It smells like cherry and almond and baby powder and sugar, but it burns, man. It burns in a way that nothing else burns me. So, oh, 
it, it, it's, it's like needles, 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 needles. And from what I understand, somebody else mentioned oh, that there's an oil in it that I might be allergic to. And I think that Douglas Smith uh, mentioned this to somebody. Let me look on here if I can see. Oh, it doesn't have, uh, doesn't have the ingredients on the bottle. But he said there was an oil, hmm, some sort of oil, maybe cinnamon, I don't know. But something in there that gets me. Now, I may not get everybody, but my skin does not like it, but I love the way it smells. And I love that that looks like Keith Richards. Anyway, so I knew I needed to use some version of a Phoenix product for an aftershave. But uh, got this coming up soon, the droid, and with the matching aftershave for that, with the little Among Us guy on there. Doesn't that look like the Among Us? You know, Among Us, the game that's sweeping the 11-year-old the world. Anyway, thank you again to Douglas and everybody else at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for sending that. And uh, if you've stung around this long, I'm going to read just a little bit from his book. Here's Douglas on the back there. Look at it. Look at that. I think he and uh, Hunter S. Thompson would have got along. I think I'll get along. Douglas, I'm going to meet you. We're going to hang out and uh, have some whiskey, all right? So, the fresco is... Oh, thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Leave a comment below. And uh, if you don't want to listen to this, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to read a little bit just for fun. It's probably copyrighted, so I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> all right. Fresco Mystery. Chapter 1. It's called Chapter 1. It's got Stonehenge. Stonehenge. No, we're not doing bloody Stonehenge. Out of the contemplative silence of the Salisbury Plains, a laser beam pierced the spinning evening sky above, setting the whipping and sickly green cluster of storm clouds aglow, if only for a moment. Some high strangeness was certainly afoot on this suddenly tempestuous spring night above the ancient monument. Though Emmett Walter Keenan, as he, wait, thought, thought Emmett Walter, this is take two, thought Emmett Walter Keenan as he peered out nervously through the blinds of the Stonehenge Visitor Center. Though a little over a mile away from the monolith, he could still make out the steadfast black silhouettes of the sleeping giants as they stood now wet and reflective and stoic as ever under the collegianous sky. But you, you got some words in here, you got some 25 cent words in here. Had lightning struck them? Emmett couldn't be sure. He'd only seen the flash out of the corner of his eye, and that was through his discombobulated blinds hanging haphazardly from the window. 25 cent words. He had been lost in thought, rummaging around his office, getting ready to lock up for the night and looking for some keys when it happened. It was almost as if the room had convulsed. Emmett was not usually such a nervous Nancy, but in light of some recent and troubling events, he hadn't really been himself as of late. Read the rest yourself. The Fresco Mystery. Get it at phoenixshaving.com. Thanks, Douglas. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.